Hello and welcome Cancerians. This is your April 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower Readings. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, what we will do here, Cancerians, we will divide the video in sections, if that makes sense. So we will look at the overall energy for the months ahead. Before we will then look at your emotional core, emotional core is about whether there's love coming in, uh, whether there's stuff that sort of needs to go, that needs to be tweaked, um, all that kind of stuff. And then we will look lastly at opportunities as the percentage says to you in the month of April 2023 for the sign of Cancerians. So, are you ready? Are you ready? So, the first thing that is that comes in here is... To understand this month that you may suffer from fatigue in April. It seems to be a big energy thing here where I'm just not getting into gear here. Right? And all the guides are saying is, without knocking you, the only way April will be a nice month for you is to shine. So you you are you are, you are asked to say, okay. Not feeling it today, but I'm making an effort, right? This bothers me, but I'm making an effort. So this is all about understanding that against all odds, you are still asked to understand you can give in to how you're feeling, right? Which is not always wrong, but in April, it doesn't get you anywhere. So what they're saying to you is, if you're not super well this month, can you walk a little bit, right? So rather than saying, like, I'm not feeling well, I honor that, and I'm just sitting here, if that makes sense. So the, the point is, this is about your metabolism, Cancerians. This is about understanding that not doing something, even if they are conditions or, or circumstances that make it very difficult for you to actually act, is for you to say, like, okay, I'm having a look at what is the maximum I can do on any given day, and then do that. Don't do... Don't get into a routine that tells you not to do things just because ultimately it is easier. And even though if you're just looking for relief of, of um, not being so well, if that makes sense. And again, this is a general reading. It may not, it may not um, resonate with all of you, but the energy here for the month of April for Cancerians is, is, is um, I'm having a sluggish energy. I'm not getting into gear. And hence, hence you have the energy of shining. And so the guides are saying is the only way you will succeed is by literally saying to yourself, despite all the issues that I'm having, my choice has to be to do as much as I can with what has been dealt to me, if that makes sense. Right? So this is your overall energy for the months of April 2023 for the sign of Cancerians. Now we're looking at your emotional core. Emotional core is, you know, like I said, um, whether there's love coming in, what needs to be tweaked to make relationships work and all that kind of stuff. Or maybe there is healing that needs to happen. Let's have a look. Cancerians. Now, you have solar calm and clarity. So, let's, let's see if I can phrase that right. There's no such thing as solar calm. There are solar flares that have always been there, that are always bombarding the earth and first and foremost are bombarding the sun. And nobody talks about them because we don't feel them all that much, if that makes sense, right? So we know that the moon goes through phases and the moon is the, is, is, is the element that governs Cancerians. Um, but so does the sun. The point is you have solar calm. You may feel bombarded, that makes sense, just to stay with the theme, <laughs> by... Um, by things going on around you, especially when it comes to how am I actually feeling about things? And all the guys are saying is if you look for clarity, go within. Don't look at, oh, this is happening. I'm getting more attention here. I'm feeling this more here. This is not about outside impetus. This is about step back. How am I truly feeling here, right? What sits inside me? So what I'm getting for Cancerians is to not overthink, uh, and, and it sounds a bit weird, but maybe just to sit with situations and have a bit of faith, if that makes sense, right? Um, again, don't hear this wrong, but I'm getting this energy here uh, of Cancerians having a slight neediness to them when it comes to I want to be, I want to be loved, I want to be seen, I want to be uh, felt. And while the universe is always trying to answer that for you, it is also important to realize that April, by default, 
is not so far not a high energy month right so obviously i'm recording these these um these videos sign by sign and you are the fourth the fourth sign therefore in in all the other readings it became apparent that that um apparently <laughs> april is not going to be a super high energy month therefore when it comes to your emotional core it's also understanding that that things are in in progress things are a journey enjoy the journey don't look for clues that tell you oh i'm safe here if that makes sense right so allow yourself to just you know have a bit of faith relax a little around things right so the other thing that i'm getting is for cancerians is you are a very strong sign that also has learned to internalize things not releasing stuff and and because the energy of april is a bit slowish that will aid the non-release of all their issues and all the guides are saying is while this is not going to be a month where you release a lot if you have a chance to reflect what exactly keeps cropping up that probably has cropped up for two decades and what can i do to let that go right so now lastly we're looking at uh, opportunities for the months of april 2023 for the sign of cancer like i said you are watching thomas's tower readings please like subscribe and share you ready <clears throat> so <laughs> cancerians for the um, opportunities you have taurus energy so what you're being asked is to look at where is my life going what changes would i like to see so it's an individual thing for your sign and then work on them cultivate the energy of change without worrying about it right so again what i'm getting here so far for for the energy of cancerians is that your your energy on a whole seems to be a bit static it's a bit like okay well i'm sort of semi stuck in a rut it's not all that much i can do outside of my routines and when it comes to opportunities it's about saying yeah that may be true but what other option have i got then looking at things and going, okay maybe i can override this maybe i can do this if that makes sense be more proactive which is the taurus taurus is the sign of of you know um i'm i'm, I'm the bull i'm coming for you if that's what i want right again it's not meant as 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 aggression but you know the strongest feeling here that that that, that I get for cancerian's energy in the month of april is a slight energy of defeat so by like oh i'm not feeling so well i'm not feeling it la 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 and all the universe is saying is yeah while this is understandable <laughs> it doesn't help you and the only person that can create higher energy that then can be manifested for you to carry on is you so look at what can i do to have a higher energy so opportunities become more abundant okay cancerians that's all i got for you this month thank you so much for hanging out with me um, and and watching this video again please like subscribe and share it actually does help the channel and i'm looking forward to seeing you next month bye bye